So here we are, another video. So today we have Jeep Wrangler. I've been very excited to do this. Um, I do apologise for any wind noise. For some reason, there's been a hurricane overnight and it has not disappeared. But we still crack on, we still get on with it. So as you can see, very filthy. I'm so excited. I cannot explain how excited I am to do this. It said you've got all the arches, big wheels. This is obviously used for what it's pretty much made for. Um, and as we clean it, you'll see that. Now, the person that owns this is the owner of a publications company. As you can see, Rufus Rock and Roll. <laughs> they basically specialise in doing one, one of a kind limited editions uh, based on like, ACDC and all the tops. They've got a few projects coming up as well, which I'm sure if any of you guys that love a bit of rock and roll, go check them out. I said I'll link their website in the description below. Go and have a look. They're collector's items and yeah, they're going to only go up in value. But anyway, let's get on with this detail. I'm super excited about this and in the wind as well. So great times. So, so let's get cracking. Okay, so ideally I'd have liked to have had my uh, new microphone attached and speak to you whilst I was going through this process. So instead I'm doing a voiceover. It was extremely windy that day, so I've decided to do it this way. Now, this first step I'm doing is using Yum Citrus. For me, this is a very new product and this is actually the first time of using this. And I tell you what, it is now my new favourite product. I'm in love. Now, this particular product I know has been in the making for a little while and you can dilute this bottle from, um, I believe it's 50 to 1. I used it straight on the bodywork as it came out the bottle. This car is very, very dirty and the ideal use for this would have been to spray it on, then foam on top, but I wanted to give it a bit of a double dose and get most of the grime off before giving it a foam. So after spraying it all over the vehicle, or at least the lower half of the vehicle, I left it to dwell for a few seconds and then I decided to rinse it off. And this is where I was absolutely in awe. Now, I cannot get over to you how incredibly impressed I was with this Yum Citrus. I just, I'm lost for words of how good it was. Now, this actual Yum Citrus itself, I believe, is £9.95 on Yum Cars. If you go to their website, I'll link it into the description and grab yourself some. I tell you what, you will not be disappointed. I've been on the market looking for a, a good citrus and this has definitely ticked that box. I don't need to look any further. Now, don't get me wrong, I used a fair amount of Yum Citrus in this application. But again, as I said, I basically gave it two applications of this Yum Citrus because I wanted to give this paintwork a clean start as this has only ever really seen what I would class as a generic clean. Okay, once I've rinsed off the rest of the vehicle, I then inspect the wheel arches and the wheel. Now, as I said earlier, the arches on this were absolutely crazy filthy, and I'm just giving it an extra little bit of yum citrus just to make sure I'm getting all those extra bits that I've missed. I then go on to the tire wall. So I'm using yum undress for this. It's not really a step that I ever really thought about when detailing a car, but since they've brought this product out I just wouldn't go without it now. Obviously a really clean service then means that you can put the dress on and not get any sling and you get the what I would probably class as the glossiest tyres in the world or if you want them satin you can just buff that off. I then squirt the wheel face with some wheel cleaner again from Yum Cars uh, and it just eats up that brake dust incredibly well. I, in this circumstance, used the smallest of the wheel woolies that you can get. And even then, it probably was a little too tight in those holes. And uh, yeah, obviously, you want to get right in those holes and get the barrel itself. We weren't doing a wheel off uh, detail, but nonetheless, it needed some attention behind there. Just otherwise, it will ooze all out once you've rinsed it out. 
I'll then grab the royal face brush and just give that a good scrub along the front and then I'll get the detailing brush and just get into those little nooks and crevices that I may have missed with that face brush. Now for me the wheel side of things are one of my favourite steps in cleaning a car. There's just something so therapeutic about it I just I don't know. Once obviously I've completed all of that give the arches a good scrub just whilst I'm waiting for the wheels to dwell and then it's just a case of rinsing it all off. Now I would like to point out that I do take my time to rinse out my arches. It's again something I find very therapeutic and I do believe you should take your time just to make sure you get every little bit that you can. As to me the alloys really set off a car and if you get those correct everything else just follows after that. Okay, so once we've done all the wheels, we then go on to spray some more Yum Citrus. Now, as I said previously, we wouldn't normally do the citrus step twice, but this car was heavily soiled, so it just needed that extra little bit of love. Uh, it, with this step, we actually, on closer inspection, saw that the roof looked like it actually had never been touched, so we just gave it a little bit of Yum Citrus as well. Just, you know, it just makes our life a little bit easier. Now, I can understand why the roof wasn't touched. I'm 5 foot 10 and even I struggled to reach the top of the car. Once we'd sprayed the whole of the car with the citrus, we just foamed that mofo up. Now, <laughs> apart from the wheels, foaming up a car is just the most satisfying step other, as I said, than the wheels. And especially a vehicle of this size. Now, I'll tell you what, whilst I'm thinking about it and whilst I'm doing this voiceover, this Candon that I'm using here is a MTM PF 22.2. It's just come out again, it's exclusive to Yum Cars, and I managed to do this car and still had half a bottle left for the next car that I do, which hopefully, fingers crossed, will be the Tiguan. Now, this again is a very large car, and to get half a bottle of foam and do the whole lot is just absolutely incredible. Now as you can see I got up all into the arches and all into nooks and crannies again you know extra product it, you can't go wrong at least that way you know that you've got every bit that you can. So after leaving it to dwell for a bit yes it was sunny but actually it was still incredibly windy and it was still very chilly. So after we let it dwell, we then went on to rinse the car all over. Again, just taking our time and making sure that if there are any bits that we may have missed in the previous rinse, we make sure that we're getting rid of as much dirt as possible. Again, focusing on the lower part of the car and the roof. So after that rinse off we just foam up the car again but this time not only does it have yum foam in there we have a bit of yum wash as well just to give it that little bit extra of lubricity 
as you can see, I don't really care for this uh, pressure washer that much. I absolutely hate this thing, but I'm hoping to get a new one soon. So we'll just have to deal with it for now. And yes, I do abuse it, but it was on its way out. Anyway, we foam, re foam everything just to make sure we get that extra lubrication. So when we do give it the contact wash, we're not doing any more damage than it's already done to this paint. As we do plan on giving it a little bit of a paint correction in areas where it definitely needs it. So yeah, enjoy a bit of uh, car rubbing whilst I have a sip of water as I am parched. And getting the cats out of the bedroom because obviously when I'm very busy they decide that they want to have a bit of attention. So enjoy the car rubbing. So whilst my lovely assistant is doing the contact wash, I just go around with a detailing brush and a bit of yum citrus, getting in all those little nooks and crannies that the wash mitt just won't get to. This means that I can knock out any remaining debris or dirt that may surprise us when we're doing the machine polish. Obviously we don't really want any surprises, we want this car as clean as possible for the, its new owner. So yeah, enjoy some more car rubbing and some crack playing. After the initial contact wash, I just went back round to all the door jams with a detailing brush and a bit of more yum citrus, just getting into those areas where water's running and probably never been cleaned before. And whilst I was actually doing the door jams, I found that the door seal would actually come off or come away from the edging of the driver's door so I just pop that back in anyway and I would like to be the first to apologize about my weird faces I pull some strange expressions when I'm concentrating I would say I'll try to stop it but it ain't gonna stop now after nearly 30 years on this planet some habits just don't die away As I mentioned, I'm 5 foot 10 and even I can't reach this roof. I'm also very overweight at the minute so I can't even climb this step ladder safely. So I hired my lovely assistant to do the honours for me. I did hold on to the step ladder just in case. And also, not really for her safety, more about not dinging the car. I joke, I love you really. But anyway, my lovely assistant then gave the roof a good scrub. Again, get in those areas that look like they've never been touched before.
the contact wash it was obviously time for the rinse now my other half had actually locked herself out at this point and as you can see i was not bothered luckily she had her keys on her so it was fine anyway time for the rinse again take your time at this point make sure that you are getting any debris or anything that you may have missed during the contact wash if you do find you missed a hell of a lot then just redo the process at the end of the day you don't want to be scraping dirt around your car when you think it's clean so yeah i took my time at this so make sure you guys do too <laughs> Once the contact wash had been complete, we were prepping the paintwork ready for a machine polish. Now here I'm using Yum Detailer as the clay lube, and for the clay itself I'm using a synthetic clay bar from Yum Cars. Now at the making of this video, this hasn't been released yet, but if it has been released, then you're going to enjoy this product. It's crazy good, really, it's ergonomic, so you can obviously, you know, it doesn't ache your hand when you're uh, giving the paint a good rub. And it's also reusable. Now this is actually the mud left over from the contact wash and that initial citrus wash that we did. And it's absolutely crazy the amount of dirt that come off this thing. I mean it completely covered the street which we did eventually sweep away but just for video purposes just what you should see. So after the decontamination stage we went on to the machine polishing. Now as you can see the paint is absolutely awful and you weren't actually going for a complete correction but just making it look a lot better than it was. Now after a few goes at it we did get the paintwork looking really good however there's still a few scratches that we just couldn't get off with the equipment that we had at the time. So enjoy the polishing stage, I have sped it up a bit so you're not sat here forever watching it but yeah enjoy. Note to self, when videoing yourself on a reflection, remember that the camera can see it. Again, I do apologise about the silly faces I pull. After a little bit of a compound, it was time for the finishing stage. Now this was a new pad, so I just had to prime it before applying the actual finishing polish itself. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, the owner of this Jeep is the director for Rufus Publications. Now he has actually sold this Jeep, so one of the jobs on the list was to remove the stickers ready for the new owner. The 
The process itself was very easy. Apply a little bit of heat and the stickers just came right off. As you can see we're using a heat gun but we had it on a very low setting just to make sure there's no damage to the paint. Okay, that is the end of day one. We're coming back out here tomorrow just to finish the work. I have polished like, the rear quarter part of this car, but as you can see, there's a lot more to do. So, see you then. On to day two. Now, it was a very simple day. It was just a case of machine polishing the vehicle and just dressing up the bits that needed it. Now, the actual hard part about this whole detail was the initial wash, only because it took way longer than we would normally take. We just wanted to make sure that we had all the dirt off that we could possibly get to. So again, enjoy a bit more machine polishing footage. After a good polish, we wanted to give it a bit of protection, so we used Yum Ceramic. Now you can use this by spraying it onto a bit of cloth, rubbing over the surface, then using a plush towel to buff that off. You can put it straight on the paint, but we prefer using it that way. We then went straight onto the plastics and tyres, so we were using Yum Dress for this bit. We wanted the tyres nice and glossy to match the paintwork, and all the dull plastics to have a bit of nourishment. And that was pretty much the car complete. So this was uh, before. And this is after. And oh my god. I could not be more pleased with the finish of this car. I mean look at that gloss. And I tell you what, throughout this whole detail, I just fell more in love with a Jeep. I never even thought about owning a car like it, but actually this has definitely swayed me to putting this on my list of cars I would like to own one day, especially in this colour. Now black cars are very hard to keep clean, but I always gravitate towards the black cars. There's just something about them that really gets my boat rocking. I'd just like to point out that we did do the interior but we didn't see the point in filming it as it just needed a good hoover and nothing more special than that really. Maybe in the next one you'll see us and our interior skills at play. That's it all done. Okay, so it's not 100% but it's close to 100% as we could get it. <laughs> the tripod did break halfway through so we didn't get all the footage that we really wanted to but as you can see the stick has been removed We've had a full polish, interior has been done, all the plastics have been dressed and it's ready for its new owner. So thank you very much for watching. 
if you like this type of content, subscribe to my channel. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was over a two day period and multiple technical issues, but we got there in the end. Thank you very much for watching. I'm just gonna add a few bits at the end about obviously Rufus Publications, who obviously is the guy that we did this Jeep for. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. So here it is, Rufus Publications. Now, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, they do one-off limited edition collector's items for bands such as ACDC, Deep Purple and Judas Priest. Judas Priest being the latest one that was released just before Christmas. Now, they have a current project coming up for Eddie Van Halen, as you may know if you're into your rock and roll like I am, passed away not so long ago. So make sure to keep an eye on the website for up and coming details on this book.